Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32, oh my god, we started with a blitz, match between Nalysius and Misspelled Tree, and Nalysius set up against a blitz, and Misspelled Tree got a blitz, well hey, um, so you know, at least he's got some kind of defence here, he, he, you know, he thought about it and he, he's done something, but um, yeah, like that's obviously the biggest threat, the stabilisation phase versus Wood Elves, the Wood Elves have got a... What they they must have got a journeyman catcher or no a loner catcher like a mercenary catcher, a wizard and a babe. Interesting choice. Movement three tree, uh, nice dancer. Not much else. Well, a couple of guards. The Nurgle have two claw palms with tackle. Only one of them has got block though. Um, some okay warriors. An okay beast. A frenzy pest. It's not terrible, is it? 15 players. Oof. Yeah, no, I would maybe take one for, for Hexen, but even then you don't need it, you just need throwers, so no, there's no point taking archers. It, you can just beat, you, there's absolutely no point in taking archers. No. Axe quick hands. I don't. I, I. I think. I think the best is 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 sword lances, and I will fight anyone who says sword lances aren't the best. Personally, pretty good BB. It is BB analysis, Odon. Yes, there you go. You see. I mean, what can you say? It's a blitz. Um, try to not get this guy immediately taken out by one of these two. <laughs> is the immediate goal. <laughs> this is very rowdy by tree here. Not what I would do. But who can say if it's good or bad? Literally having to cage the dancer. <laughs> Literally have to cage the dancer now. <laughs> Which does limit how much impact he can have. And and you've got to as well, right? It's just not worth the the it's not worth getting this guy cast. To, to destabilize them, is it? So it's 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 really hard. It was really, it was a really interesting uh, thing, and and he's, at the moment he's exposed. I mean, he needs, well, she needs to put someone here, right? No, this is this is he's just getting nailed. One, two, three, four, five, six, piled on, dead. Okay, well now that's better. That's better. That that. But then there could be one of these three. Okay, yeah. Now I guess that saves the dancer. I guess that saves the dancer now. And then just bring everyone back around here. Well, you're wrong, Rat and Blute. You're absolutely wrong. So that's good. Even though you don't know what I'm talking about. But you're definitely wrong. Because Sword Lancers are definitely the best. So, there you go. Yeah, but look, look it on the other side. You could have done it here, right? You could you could have done it if it was one of those three. If it if it went to well, it wasn't those three. It was here, wasn't it? So if it went to one of these, yeah. If it went to one of these six, five. If it went to one of these five squares, mate. But even then, no, because you need to get up and back. So if it went to one of these two, or even maybe three. If it went to one of these three, you could have. Um, you could have nailed him because then you could have gone like one, two, three, four, five, six, and got got back up here without blitzing him. But yeah, you've got to go for the obvious threat, haven't you? But yeah. Dodge through? No, well, that's mental. <laughs> like I know he's edge five, but he hasn't got dodge, so you can't expect to succeed a single dodge with him. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to double GFI here. This is pretty fucking rowdy. He's going to have to, right? He's going to have to double GFI. There's no choice. He has to double GFI and then one, two, three, four. Bring him back, I guess. Have to do the GFI as I have to. Oh, he's already used his reroll. What did he... Oh, God. It, what? He had two hands. What did he use the reroll on? 
Oh god, I didn't know he had used it. He shouldn't have... He shouldn't have had to GFI if he... How did he use a reroll? Dub skulls. Well, he should have... He should have made of a plan. He should have made a plan that made him not GFI once he'd... Uh, once he'd dub skulled. So, like, move the... Move this here, right? Or something. Move this... At least move it here. So then you only had to do one GFI. Could bolt the beast here. But I guess the stun gives you another chance, so I guess you don't. But what I learned was against Sindane, I had a really good chance um, to, to steal the ball. And I could have put in the wizard to make it, like, you know, almost assured. But I wanted to be greedy and to save the wizard. And maybe you shouldn't be greedy. Maybe you should just nail it and, and get it. But... It's not easy to get the ball get the ball away afterwards, is it? Um, you'd be in. I guess you're at five, but you'd be in him. His thing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'd have to like GFI once, then GFI down to get away from all these three, and then lob it there, and you'd have a minus one. Wouldn't be very good. So maybe just uh, intersect the whole team this turn. But the except you can't you can't it's it's this is a dodgy turn this isn't actually that good for you as the as the elves because you only got these three you can't actually do that much apart from the fact that he's just stunned his guy yeah he absolutely had to change plan once he's used his once he's burned his uh oh wow that was a big mistake wasn't it terrible mistake from Miss Bell tree there <laughs> Rerolled knocking him over. <laughs> Rerolled knocking him over. This was not the block. This was not the block uh... <laughs> One bit of a bit of a balls up, but never mind. Yep. Yep. Terrible mistake there from Miss Beltree. Chalice nerves, let's call it. Um You can't but you can't you can't really like do you know what I mean? You're not. It's not that good, is it? The problem is, it's just not that good. But like, yeah, the, you are splitting the person. Ah, but you've looked before the game, Kale's Eddie, and you know that one doesn't have block, and you're always looking to see which one is the one without block. So that is that is really bad mistake. So yeah, so you do get to get rid of these out of the way, and then you. I guess you could bolt the beast next turn because obviously he's not activating the beast. Well, I say obviously. You would imagine not activating the beast. But he can get it in a cage, right? He can get it. He can make a four plus pick up and get it in a cage. And he can claw on the dancer. <laughs> yeah, obviously that's worse, Mordred. Yeah. And you know, Nolisius, he he uh, he took a both down with this guy because he thought it was the other one. You know, like he thought he was blitzing with this one. And so, like Nolisius made a terrible mistake with this guy in the first round, and Misspell Trees made a terrible uh, terrible mistake with him in the second round. Jugs on Wrestle is terrible, yeah. Not what I would do, but who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> So you hit this one, move him there, move him there, so you've got guard on the sides, then you go for the 4 plus pickup, I guess. I guess you just have to go for the 4 plus pickup. Like, what else are you going to do? Hit him first so he sidesteps onto the ball. Well done. Look a dog. Like, that's fucking shit, isn't it? Because you've got to pick up the ball this turn. Like, you just have to pick up the ball this turn. You have to at least try. And, uh, yeah, he could have sidestep onto the ball. It should have been... Problematic. Of course he piles. Why have a why have a tackle zone there <laughs> in case of a wizard and to you know to kind of interfere with any kind of recovery? Another double skull. Oh my god. Oh my god. Another double skull. That's horrendous. Look. That is horrendous. Look. Yikes. Yikes! This is this is what not what you need against Wood Elves. <laughs> Double sculling twice in the first two turns. This was wrong. This was wrong because he wants he wants the guard there, right? So oh, now he's picked up the ball without block. I don't like that at all. I, I guess you get more guard around the ball, but 
You didn't need guard here, right? Because you've got this guard there. So I'd rather have block carrier. Uh, it's two dub skulls for the Nurgle. That's all. What the hell? Is that somebody in the background? Has somebody joined? It I is. have indeed joined. It's Purple Chest. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what the um, hell am I hearing? A few little problems. Uh, I was expecting to have to go out and collect my children, but my partner's not going to do that. I was also expecting a family phone call, but that's already happened. So having been invited, it's because it happened a little earlier to go on to trees as an emergency commentator. Her team is in place, so I thought I'd come and keep you company. Oh, thank you very much. However, yeah. in swapping to my headset, my uh, extremely stable Blood Bowl 2 crashed. Oh, so dear. I'm just loading back in. <laughs> Ooh, well, we've seen two sets of double skulls and a wizard already, so it's pretty It's pretty crazy. It's been a pretty crazy and, game. And half an hour. It's been all action, hasn't it? So I hope I'm not bringing a curse to the final 15 turns. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Was like so, better. Um, I know I, I quite like fireball there because you don't need like the ball's defenseless, right? And you might take down the, the this guy. What's he called? Beast, which is really good, isn't it? Mm. No hands all <laughs> tense. What a good, what a great name. <laughs> a subtle. I think none of this is going to be what Novitius wanted, is it? No, no. But he's been horrendously unlucky. Mm. I mean, they're down to one reroll, two dub skulls, a blitz. It's just a horrific start to the game. <laughs> yeah, blitz is the worst possible start, isn't it? And then he followed it up with, yeah, with double, double, double. And he also could, like, you feel the GFI, right, which stunned him. He could have just made the two GFIs and, and made it safe, but he, he probably shouldn't have made himself make the, have to take the GFIs once he'd used the reroll. Uh, there's two enormous positives here, which I think we shouldn't undervalue. The first is that the Wiz has, of course, already gone. So add to that tale of woe that the Wiz is gone, and at least it massively simplifies the situation from here on out. Yeah. yeah. So that's a genuine positive. Yeah. Uh, and the other one is that uh, famously, of course, uh, Nolisius is quite young. He'll have other chances. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's, a good po there's a good positive here. If he concedes, he'll be banned for three seasons. <laughs> That's something to think about. It's a about. really tough position. So with the Wiz gone, at least now, he, he doesn't have to concern himself about that with his shape making and his attacking or what will now be a, a defending one of team. Ooh. Ooh. There's no disturbing presence to pick up no dog to the dog. It would be ridiculously, ridiculously OP if there was a disturbing presence to pick it up, but there is for handoffs and shit. Oh, Jim, did you feel that ground? Yeah, that was a, that was a one. That, that's, uh, that's, oof. It There's doesn't... a slim, tiny chance back now, isn't there? Not really. <laughs> needs it. Needs to blitz them and and then get like a crazy scatter, right? Like it still needs yeah. a crazy scatter. Yeah, I mean, you presumably you stand up first of all that, and then the one on the other side of the loner and the guard elf. Oh no, you're blitzing with that one. Okay, blitzing the guards fine too. Yeah. This will put tackle zones on all the elves that could catch, but yeah. a lot of stink in there as well. Yeah, yeah, they're unlikely to catch. Um, the ball should still end on the ground, but you know, six has happened. No, there you go. That's that's brilliant. That's a brilliant. So that's the best possible. Start. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. If only you could also move this tree, but of course you can't. So the beast won't be on the ball. No, but you can pow in. You can hang on. No, you break tackle the tree just to no, break tackle the beast just to move it the one square left. It's useless on the tree. Move it. Oh, it's stupid, no. Jim. I like, I like power. I like just trying to power it, but yeah, it really. Yeah, I, I, do, I do like powering it too because it is so strong. But I'd love that beast on the ball. In fact, you could have break tackled it and moved it two to the left, couldn't you? Yeah. So that the tree couldn't power it. I still it's think just, that was a sexy option, but the power was good too. He's just going in with the two heads. Got it. Oof! Glorious. One more. Well, I'll say this for Nolisius, he's never been frightened of rolling some dice when it comes to it. Uh, and that was the right dice to roll. Yep. Yeah. Glorious. Um, who knows, Mordred? Like, he, he, you know, maybe he's just pissed off. You don't know what, what's happening in his life, do you? Now the beast activation doesn't look so good. Yeah, well, I mean, he didn't know he was going to roll all those dice, did he? I mean, I think it was worth going for the 55% knockdown. 
and yeah. the sixteen percent, you know, stupid, I think was really worth it because if you power yeah. if you power if you power the tree it makes the recovery so much easier, doesn't it? I was hitting the dancer. I much prefer the blitz he did on that guard. I think that was better. It put yeah. tackle zones on all the elves around it. Um, it put Stink much more into the face of where the ball was likely to be and brought that warrior back into a better position. So it's a much better blitz he picked. Yeah. It, the ball had to be bounced. You were never going to get out of there. Yeah. Uh, the power was a huge bonus, but they do happen still, even on blodge pieces. Yeah. Uh, and the pickup was a bit saucy, but had to be tried. Uh, it's very little chance that he retains it. You'd have thought the dancers are coming for it. Yeah. Yep, there's the assistant. I mean, it wasn't outrageous dice, but it's just more dice, isn't it? Like, he doesn't want to have to reroll anything, right? Because he's only got one reroll left, so... Yeah, absolutely. It, even though you're just dodging on, like, what, threes there? And then twos <sighs> and twos? It's still three... You're running a three-two-two two that you don't want him. I mean, that ball carrier, it's a huge question over whether he would have re-rolled anything with it because it's the last re-roll, but... Yeah. Oh, Trees used her last re-roll. Boom. Wow, we yeah. are... It. Well, I mean, re-rolls are for the week. I've always said so. Really, really regretting her pointless oh, re-roll now, I bet. Huge stun there. <laughs> Another one. Ah, oh, Jim, I've had to sit down. I was standing because the equity shifts are just coming in constantly. <laughs> yep. I think it's right to push the dancer on and pick the ball up. Um, there's not a lot else. There's only that filth loner that looks like it can get free and come help. Two filth loners, in fact, isn't it? I suppose the other dancer can leap out on a three. I might have to. I like the tree hitting the tackler, obviously, because that the yeah. tackle could it could have been cleared with a beast and stuff, couldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Still and it's, it's, still can, it still it. can, and it's still the biggest threat on the field. Isn't but it? It also, the, it could have the, been powered by the tree. <laughs> the other the, the other palm tackle is out of range. Yeah. So, okay, the filth elves do get into place. There's a direct route to the ball, but very little recovery, and of course, it is on a sidestep piece. Yeah. Very big problem for Nullius to solve here. Um, there. Oh, the dancer has to go because if it doesn't, there's some sexy chain pushes on using it as well. Yeah. Power the tree first and then bring something in to fill the gap. So that, that dancer is better off leaping and failing. Nice one from tree. I think she spotted that. I think it would have come anyway. Yeah. So he's got two chances to power the tree. Maybe just to start with. No, you can't. You don't read. Maybe you just. No, maybe you put in more assists and hit with the. Uh... Yeah, you put in the two assists, don't you? You put in these two assists, 2D with the warrior, then you get to blitz the dancer with the tackle, and then put the beast somewhere as well. Yeah, 100%. I mean, but it's, it's going to be the, hard because there's a the screen the now. Tackle so. has to come for this uh, this ball, and even then, your recovery options are pretty minimal. Yeah. So the other tackle straight to his feet, just so it's doing something valid and might have a function next turn. A little bit of a shame. I, I might have, if I was feeling very ballsy, left it for a late turn dodge to try and get it centralised. Yeah, I um, think, I think the one that he is. moved first, the frenzy in front of the one he stood up on. But it's needed as an assist for that tree, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Which fails. <laughs> now he's always gets the stand firms on those difficult moments. Ah, the beast. Yeah, the beast. Bless it. Maybe it didn't though, right? Maybe maybe the beast could have uh, come and just based the ball because then like. You've got to move, you've got to roll some dice to dislodge the beast, then, haven't you? So maybe could have. Uh... It is a stand firmer, but it's not it's not a block. Um, yes, I mean that's a twenty five percent to get a, a power on it with two reds, isn't it? It's mm. um, it's not great. So yeah, maybe maybe the play was to like just hit, like literally blitz with the beast or something, or you know try and get the beast on the ball might have mm. been better. Into the space that this tackle is just going into. Yeah. What? what it or isn't? Isn't. No, he's... No, I don't know. What is. is going on, Jim? I don't know. This would have been the play if you'd got the beast on the ball, but yeah. I don't know how you don't hit the dancer. <laughs> I don't um, know how you don't hit the dancer if you do that. I guess well, he, was, I, bit, I mean, he was a bit blocked, but only a bit. I mean, for a start, the ball carrier's in range of scoring. Uh, the dancer just in front of it's also in range of scoring. That catcher that you hit and didn't knock over is in range of scoring. And the loner without go for it is in range of scoring. So, 
that didn't seem good enough. No, you haven't done anything. Uh, the beast here would have been nice, wouldn't it? It's on both dancers, and then yeah. he's got no, not re got no reroll. So yeah, I would have been yeah. well up for just getting the beast in actually. And if you if you do manage that, then blitzing elsewhere would have been fine. Yeah. But the problem is the tree acting successfully is a bit of a twat magnet there, um, yeah. and just a shockingly bad choice of blitz. But. <laughs> I, I suppose in his defence, like I said, there was virtually no recovery afterwards. Yeah. But if you can mighty blow tackle hit a ball carrying war dancer, I kind of think you should. Yeah. Yeah. Just or or stick the beast on it. Like it was one of yeah. those two, right? Just, yeah. def so... just definitely not that. <laughs> no. No. Definitely. No, not No, I mean I don't. I don't hate your plan. I just like hitting war dancers. Oh, I mean, that was um, hitting the dancer was my his plan. plan as well. I did hate his plan. <laughs> Believe me, hitting the dancer was my plan. But then I thought, oh, maybe, maybe the beast would have been better. And in a surprising turn of events, the tree stood straight back up and is now nailing four Nurgle players to the ground. Yeah, the tree can't fail yeah. to stand up, plus movement. So, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like there perhaps shouldn't be this many on the tree already at this time in the drive. And I know it's been a very unlucky drive, and that's very harsh to say, but I'm saying it anyway. Yes, yeah, but then he, with he, a break got tackle piece. he got it's it's hard, though, isn't it? Right, he got into trouble. It's been a the, really tough drive. For yeah, him. the blitz yeah. and the dub skulls has made it. You've got to cut him some slack for being in an absolutely shit, <laughs> shit position against a blitzer wizard and two dub skulls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in, in that position, who's to say that you or I wouldn't choose a bizarrely irrational, terrible blitz? Yeah, instead of one that might actually achieve something. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. And uh, got two K twenty two Jack Napier, and it's a bit terrible. Uh, Hello, Rotten Blue. It's a bit terrible, but we're just gonna um, we're just gonna uh, do Wumbles basically two K twenty two. There you go. Well, I mean, they may patch it to the point where it's beauteous, Jim. Yeah. Or they may just be rinsing the final pounds out of a license they know they've lost and not care at all. As long as they persuade some fourteen-year-olds to drop some money on it. Yep, I think they wouldn't care at all whether they'd lost it or not. <laughs> yeah, there is also that. Yes, yeah. In an even bleaker world for you, they never gave a shit in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again, that's hugely unlucky. Yeah. Come on, finally takes a tackle, mighty boat, claw bombing, nasty monster to oh. one of these dancers. And also fails finally it. break tackles and fails. And then well. finally break tackles and fails that too. I mean, oh. I hope his mum's there to give him a cuddle, you know, make him a nice tea, <laughs> some cheesy beans or something. You know, put some tunes on. <laughs> Maybe some frosties. Forget all about it. <laughs> Yeah, we've, so something we've learned today is Jack Napier really likes ring ropes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, so Tree might not be able to, might just actually score, right? Because, yeah, yeah. no re rolls. No. Makes it a bit dodgy, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. I mean, anything there at all. Plus, the beast even failing is still getting close enough to be a vague concern. Take the bird in the hand. Yeah. Or indeed, the bird in the tree. <laughs> oh, do you see what I did there, Jim? Yep. Good. <laughs> Three turns, though. Nolly might be able to equalise this. The one turn well, is not very likely with no reroll, so there's a good chance of getting 1-1 one, one, and then being the same yeah. as if he'd scored and, and been one turn, so... I mean, Nolicius has retained a reroll. Yeah, he's got a chance. The fans are not on his side. It's uh, it's completely even, so if there is rerolls to be had, they could go in any direction. How exciting. Uh, he did remove an elf. An elf did get deleted. Yes. A lone, <laughs> a lone uh, line. <laughs> sadly, there was a spare elf. Um, mm. Somehow. How is that? How do you have loners and a spare? It's a mercenary catcher. Ah, uh, uh, well, that makes some sense. Mm. Um, so, yes, tree capped at 11. So, I suppose even if you just do an enormous amount of damage, that would be lovely. Yeah, it's not um, happening though, is it? <laughs> you, you've, you've, got to, you've got to play the elf game, haven't you? You've got to push some things into the backfield whilst also hitting the line of scrimmage. Um, secure your ball and go for 
you know, a last turn punt to someone's hands somewhere up the field. See if you can get that one one. Yeah. While still defending against the Wood Elves going up two nil, which is all, would have been more likely if they had if they had two re rolls and the Nurgle had yeah, one re roll, yeah. I'd probably I'd probably favour the Wood Elves to score off this drive. But <laughs> yes, but the lack of elf re rolls and the fact they're one nil up with the ball coming to them in the second half means I think we'll see some very uh, defensive minded shapes. Yeah. Though Tree naturally a very aggressive coach, she does love playing on the front foot. Hello. Hello. Hello, it's Calcium. <laughs> How you doing? Not bad, thank you. How are you? I'm uh, good, thanks. I just want to pop in and say hello. I can offer absolutely nothing to this commentary <laughs> um, because Purple Chest is already here. Um, and frankly, he knows everything and I know nothing. But I can drop the odd insult and, you know, piss people off. So I thought I'd pop in and say hello. <sighs> oh, thanks, Kaz. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say to this commentary, like, you know, ridiculing the fact that you'd offer to anything. But then you were so nice, I don't feel I can. <laughs> you know I love well, you, PC. You know welcome I love you. to the booth. You know it's mutual, you lovely, lovely man. <laughs> Glorious. Welcome to the booth, and I'm sure you are hugely welcome. Told you we should lock it, Jim. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, great, great to hear from you again, Carson. You've been a bit, uh, you've been a bit busy in that, haven't you, lately? So I haven't been as, as into the blood bowl. Yeah. I've had an exceptional amount of stuff going on over the last few months and um, so I haven't been able to stream or commentate the way that I would have liked. Um, it's probably going to last for about another month or so, but, you know, I can pop in on occasion and uh, say hello and drop some pills of wisdom, you know, so... And, uh, well, real life does have a habit of coming first. Absolutely, absolutely. But chalice nerves are a thing, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely huge mistake from Tree. I mean, Tree's made the worst mistake, just like re-rolling a ball down against a blockless character. <laughs> That's definitely the worst one. Where, and yeah. Malicious. Oh, wow, I see that. That was before I came in. Yeah, yeah. Blitz, blitz this claw pommer, like the blockless claw pommer, and re-roll the back right. down. Um <sighs> But like Nelissius just be you can you can understand Nelissius being a bit tilted right now, can't you? After after getting blitzed yeah. on, rolling two double skulls, <laughs> getting his ball carrier stunned twice. Like he's a, he's had so much adversity. Dial would love yeah. it having this much adversity. <laughs> I mean against the wood against the Wood Elf team like this, you you've got very little margin of error. And when you're rolling crap dice, it just hurts so much, doesn't it? Yeah. Watching Wood Elves do their thing. The yeah. fireball rolled well. The, uh, I mean, the ball carrier getting sacked afterwards. He had nowhere. It was quite a brave recovery, but he had nowhere to go with it. Yeah. So his best bet was it was knocked down in some stink. Um, and he tried that. It, that didn't work either. He tried some pressure. Um, there was one turn where he took an absolutely horrific blitz that was laughably poorly chosen. Yeah. Um, when there were several other better plans, but the turn after he put the right pressure on in the right places, he just got horrible dice again. Uh, it, it's. Definitely not been just bad plans. It's been a lot of really poor dice too. Yeah. Um, and three. I mean, I didn't see the one Jim's talked about, but other than that, it's been fairly straightforward for her. But she's taken ruthless advantage of it, as you'd imagine. We've all been there, haven't we? When we've re-rolled something like that, and you instantly think to yourself, "Jesus Christ, I'm a such a knobhead," <laughs> you know. So um, I'm sure Miss Beltree doesn't think that exactly, but we've. All I been doubt there. that's her choice of phrase. <laughs> Uh, but she's, I mean, she's very self-critical. She isn't particularly precious about, you know, oh, I made no mistakes. That's definitely not her way. So I'm sure she'll have hopefully both identified that and forgiven herself for it. And, you know, you just try and learn from it. And we all, we all do make mistakes. I would tell you in every drive I make mistakes. In almost every turn I make mistakes. And I would suggest in most activations, there's always a slightly better square or, you know, perhaps I didn't quite need that extra go for it. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. I never make a mistake. Yep, there you go. Muppet and Moridan both doing the same. <laughs> well, then you are better coaches than I. Um, I. I genuinely think almost every activation, I think, is this... You know, is there another slightly more optimal place it could have been? And really, often the, often the answer is yes. But... <sighs> I never think uh, I play Blood Bowl. I just click at random, hope for the best. It's the way to be, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Beautiful well, gets on the crap dancer and the uh, 
Yeah, there's a, that's a really, really nice break tackle into a very good position. So that's that's the sort of thing we were looking for on that turn, Jimmy, isn't it? Yeah. A creative use of assets. Yeah. And now I'd suggest the frenzy piece is his preferred scorer. That's the one in the little pocket where the ball can be nice and easily brought to turn. Yes. Um, but I mean, you can't take it anywhere near Wood Elves. They'll just take it away. So I still think he may push for a turn eight. So the ball delivery to the point where it can score. I know there's a lot yep. to do in a single turn, but it's probably also the safe way. Yep, he's only got one reroll anyway, so it's not like spreading the risk over multiple turns no. helps him that much anyway. No, absolutely. But yeah, basically he's got he's got three big threats at the moment, hasn't he? The, the other three pesticles, they can all you know, they can all do it, can't they? He's got another yep. two turns, so you can write off the rotters almost because they're so slow, and you can definitely write off the warriors <laughs> and the beast. Well, I mean, you say that, Jim. I mean, this warrior on the far left of the picture, that could be freed up for a, a left-hand threat. It is only a four plus. Yeah, but it's... Out of a three just, plus, it's not the end of the world if you can get the ball to it. No, but it's just unlikely to be able to get yeah, him in it's position not, and do it. That's the thing. Definitely not your preferred option. Well, I mean, that one is looking like, that's why I mentioned it, it's looking like it could be easily put into position. Well, it is now um, after after pushing... Without <laughs> without necessarily harming what you're doing elsewhere to get your pesticles into position. Oof, where's the one day? Wow. The one day escape from the Beast of Nurgle. You've got to love yeah. it. <laughs> Disgusterous. Well... <sighs> I mean, because you know it's going to try, you, you, I guess, can't be surprised, but you, you're vaguely disappointed, aren't you? That's a one in three right there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, with it being the Blitz, had it been the three, foul four, appearance. five, or six, or foul appearance, it would have, of course, um, really stymied the whole rest of the turn. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> However, it's a high roll that all of us would have gone for, wouldn't we? Because it, oh, yeah. it does so much that's positive. Nothing wrong with it. Just a, a piece of your Nurgle soul dies whenever it's successful, uh, you know? So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, like you can't complain about about them going for it, but you just you just pissed off it works, you know? That's... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you rolled a crap ton of skulls this game and you're really, really <laughs> desperate for the dice to start going in your favour, yeah. you know. Yes, you probably start to think, oh, blimey, I ain't getting nothing here, Governor. Yeah. Um, or worse to those effect. This is an absolute Dyson. Something like that. Yes, I, I would imagine that may have gone through a certain skull or two. <laughs> See, because you got a GFI with this, so it's still a bit shit, right? You've still got a GFI this turn, you've only got one reroll. And then you're probably going to have to GFI once or twice with this one as well. It's not great, Jim, but it does give you a second front, yeah. which the elves can't completely ignore. <laughs> also, there's very little else they can do. I, also, I still think that's probably... Yeah, you're completely screwed on the right. Yeah, so. yeah, you don't have a first front. Yeah, <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it, you do. You can pile in there and it's sort of vaguely kind of in range. Yeah. Listen to PC Dublin. There was no first run there. <laughs> Behave yourself. I'll see you. Well, I mean, the, that Pestigore is now seven away, which means even on a push, it's only eight away. That's that's in range. Yeah, ish. PC's but, glass is always half full of it. Always half full. Well, there's always a chance, isn't there? Um, yeah. However, vanishingly small. It's what I built my life somewhat unsuccessfully upon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, you can move the ball up now, right? Because I, I think you, you've yeah, got to be okay a, with the Dan uh, the catcher tagging it. You've just got to. You've go. got to. Uh, and if, if Tree wants to put the effort into that and create the possibility of some fails trying it, that's kind of good for you. Yeah. Um, so it's probably time even the risk is probably a good thing. You probably keep one rotter just somewhere near it and then push, as you said, the warrior and the other one up the left side. Ooh, he's going in range of getting base, but I guess getting base is okay because you've got... The... Yeah, it's fine. And that one Besides... square could make a big difference next turn, couldn't it? 
I mean, I, I do genuinely think this is the game, Jim. I'm all for optimism in the second half, and I, you know, I can and have turned Wood Elves over incredibly hard, though, it is to do. Uh, but you, realistically, if it's not 1 1 at the half, there's, that's probably doom, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, no, this was definitely right. It was definitely worth going that extra one because this puts him yeah. uh, two plus pass to the claw plumber, which is, I guess, who he's going to be hoping to score on. In an ideal world, absolutely, yeah. And he's made his GFIs to get two scoring threats. Where hey? Excellent. So he's actually got like five scoring threats. Yep. It's a pretty good turn, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah it's not a bad yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 uh, considering the shape he was facing, it's as good as you could hope for. Probably the rotters are probably all in the right positions too. The beast is in a decent spot. The tree's not causing any problems. It's, it's fine. Where you, where you put this last rotter, isn't it? Elliot. <laughs> oh, they're all called Elliot. All the rotters are called Elliot. <laughs> and the beast. Excellent. The beast does no hands all tense. Fantastic. Well, where is he going to go? One, two, three, four, five. He's going to go push up right up here. Maybe he's even GFI. Interesting. I would have. Maybe he's just had him here. I don't know. One, two, three, I, four, five. There. Yeah. There. I have some vague worries about the elves coming for the ball carrier. Mm. I might have even just pulled him back in front of the ball carrier. Yeah. If you put him like about here, then he, he could also yeah. be like a relay as well, couldn't he? So. Yeah, that's not terrible. I mean, the other option is pushing him around the tree to the left to free up those guys on the left. Yeah. And that might be the option to throw to both of them at once. Mm. Um, but I don't know what that was. I think you're right, because of the dodge, it had to be a plan to use both go for it, which means it was a plan to drop in between the beastmen. Yeah. Next to that elf, right as fast as they could be. I guess technically creating another scoring threat. Yeah. Yeah, because if you, you, there's no point dodging without GFIs, is there? Because you could just no. get there without dodging. So yeah. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. Yes, yeah, so that was probably the plan. Yeah. The extra minutes are uh, pretty welcome here, isn't it? Because this is a bit of a predicament, isn't it? Um, yeah. Miss Bell's got to think about this a little bit. Yeah. Bit of a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> well, she has a free dancer, so that can move. Everything else has at least some risk associated with it. Uh, there's three elves all stuck on the beast, any of which, if it gets free, can put some threat on the ball. That might be a priority. Or, as we said, there are five theoretical uh, ball uh, scorers. She needs to try and cover as many of them as possible. Very tricky. Bit of a pickle. I don't like the way that's coming up towards my mouth. <laughs> it's a great emote, isn't it? I love that. I love that emote. Elliot's got some good emotes. I think Gadenik still yeah, takes the cake. Oh my god. Gadenik's emotes. Did you, see his, his new one. did you see his suggestion today? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I nearly died. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's so niche. There's about five people that will find it the funniest thing that's ever been, and no one else will understand it at all, but it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Wolf Park, yeah, like, because, you know, you know you've got to stop them scoring. Uh, the problem is, and you've only really got, like, a, one good player to defend, right? So why not just do chevrons and then, yeah, this is the problem. They can still make tentacles rolls, can't they? So I wouldn't have minded just having the, the you know, the rotter in, in the way somewhere because, yeah, you, you, can, you can make these rolls. Steve Monty, that to me looks very much like someone sort of basketball bouncing a cat, which I, I think is terrifying. But yes, the, the flicky calm one is... <laughs> I, I mean, poor man, though, to humiliate him thus over the net repeatedly <laughs> is very funny, but possibly a little cruel. Yeah. I mean, if he's, I'm sure if he was really against it, he would ask him, so it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I mean, Flicky always comes over as very balanced and <laughs> able to deal with life's challenges. <laughs> with a robust sense of humour about things, Flicky. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oof. Well, here we go. Boy, howdy. 
Right, we so I mean, this is to push. It's all worked. Nothing has failed, and it's it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is a good load of dodge fails. So we do have the rotter up the left. That's quite. That's not a work. I mean, that dance two in front of it doesn't have sidestep, so its route could be cleared. Yeah. It's only two go for it, so it's a three plus two two. Yeah, that's not even better than One, this, two, is it? Three, yeah. Three, four, point. five, six, seven. So it's a go for it, and then a three plus part, a two plus pass, three plus catch, two two. I quite like that. If that's the route that Nolisius is going, I think that's probably the better route. And look at that. Imagine if this rotter was here, he could have gone one, two, three, hit this four, and then cleared it and stopped two two pluses. <laughs> yeah. I guess now well, he gets to hit I the mean, dancer, doesn't he? Just hit the dancer. Yeah, we did. We, we did say that was the that was the place probably for that rotter to go was directly in front of the ball. There were just too many elves to imagine that none of them was going to get out of the tentacles and maybe get there. It's just making the score safer. But I think what you have to do in that situation is make this 2D first, so you're making the blitz with pomp, with, with block, right? And make I, it three dice. Uh, so yeah, I think that's just... I didn't love that blitz. But, okay. Also, you... Yeah, what no. is going on here? Three yeah. dice him. Three dice him so that you get the... Okay, two, yes, three, no, four, that's, five, that six, makes seven. sense. Yeah, it's all just about sort of attrition, isn't it? There's some nice hits here. It's kind of made it harder for you. <laughs> two, three, four, six, seven. <laughs> it's kind of made it harder for you. <laughs> this is going to three plus packs. Makes the pass. Oh, I see we were three towing it, but we're going for the longer pass. Okay. Yeah, I didn't hate that. Oh, that's Ooh. fine. He's done it. Boy, how Yeah. Wow, the slightly early trip wag. It's just, it's one too soon, isn't it? It's the snake on the actual final one. If you go down on the first one, usually they make the next two. Well, one, one of the half, we have a game back on. Yeah. To be fair, dog to the dog, K Fog would frown on somebody who allowed like a four, a five, four, four, three, two sack if it could have been a five, five, four, four, three, two sack. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't he? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> the PC. <laughs> the way that she has done this, it is one percent less less <laughs> good than the way that is obvious. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, for um, not all of us have brains the size of a planet. But he, he does love his optimizations. Yep. That tree is correct me if I'm wrong, down a player. We are in a ten versus eleven situation. Good um, evening, little rest. But there's one one what so he's still saying massive advantage tree here. Yes. Yeah, taken almost no attrition, basically. Crazy. Crazy little attrition. Which is the main way to win, isn't it, as an Urgle? Because you know you're probably going to get wrecked by the wizard, which he was. <laughs> yes, and you've got no great answers to the dancers, except, you know, perhaps when you've got a chance, hit them with your tackle mighty blood palm pieces. But, yeah. yeah um, but if you can fit out the rest of the elves, then it gives you much better chances to do that, because you almost never get a chance to hit the dancers. And I wouldn't say very likely, Wolf, but yeah, like, it's not very likely, right? Because you know you can pin the ball back in there, and then, but yeah, I mean, I, I think it would, I think, you know, Chevron's or whatever would have been better. Like, yeah, probably should have tried harder to stop it, yeah, as you say, I mean, the Warriors get, be able to get downfield and everything. Of course, they do still, this is a turn eight, remember? This is a, a theoretical one turner. Yes. Tricky. And then there is another roll on the, uh, the missing elf, which is the juggernaut wrestle piece. Boy, do I hate that. Missing please. rotter. Boy, do I hate that. Utterly irrelevant. Interesting that the uh, the ball carrying pesty is not coming on for this single turn. That's some good tactics there from Melissius. Yep. But he does love her juggernauts, though. Uh, and I think that's probably a late take for the chalice, having not got a juggernaut dancer because of a, the death on the slightly reskilled one, uh, the dizzy one. Right. So I'm sure she just likes Juggernaut to the point where it was a late take and she desperately wanted Juggernaut. 
Yeah. Um, but Juggernaut Wrestle is a, it's an interesting combo, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crap. I mean, it doesn't so much have synergy as you know positive tension. Yeah. Which didn't work very well for my parents' marriage. Um, <laughs> but let's see how it works for that elf. Yeah, I mean this one's got Wrestle Guard. Like Wrestle Guard's still great, isn't it? Like Wrestle it's... Guard's fabulous. Yeah, mm. it's fine. I'm not, but yeah, maybe it's just Juggernaut, and it could have been for like one turns or whatever, right? Like you know, it could have been against you know if you yeah. I, don't, I mean, I yeah, don't, I don't know. I hate it, but yeah. <laughs> who's to say if it's good or bad? <laughs> I mean, I'm certain that Tree would have taken it, thinking it plugged a hole in her team because she loves Juggernaut and she didn't have normal dots. Yeah. So whilst it is an unnatural pick on that elf, when you look at it as the synergy across her team and the tools that, that Tree likes to have, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It makes sense if you like Juggernaut an unnatural amount. <laughs> yes, which Tree absolutely does, and she'll tell you that. It's really useful to position things and move things and give her the access she wants. I like it a lot. Not that much, but a lot. Yeah, I'd take it. I'd take it. I would genuinely take it on like a second double for a dancer, just so that they don't get stuck when they try and blitz people on one in nine. You know, that sort of thing. And then obviously, you can, like it is good to have the juggernaut for the one turn. Of course, it is, but it's just it's just hard to take, isn't it? And then of course, you know, another unnaturally skilled tree, some would say, um, with grab as a first skill. Uh, before the uh, the move up, which of course you take the move up almost no matter what you've taken. But grab, again, an interesting choice. And again, very much about serving the needs of the team, not the individual tree or the drives, among that, that one turning and that mobility. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people a lot of people take grab on a woody tree, don't they? It lets you yeah, keep uh, somebody in contact and helps you with a one turn. Yeah. And you're not doing that much hitting for the guard to be... It's relevant. I still take guard, but a lot of people do take grab first. It's, that, that's quite normal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't coach enough woodies. I mean, I've, I have done, I done for a couple of years. Um, to be certain in my position on that, I don't hate grab on the tree. Uh, and certainly, I, I'm not a lover of guard on uh, goblin uh, trolls, which I feel is not dissimilar. My question is always, well, what are you guarding? You know, as wood elves, they really shouldn't be. You shouldn't be building cages, really, or. You know, screens and moving the ball and mobility and speed is what you do. That's how the ball moves around and stays safe. That said, guard on an elf where you can go in and use it aggressively to take you know, their ball away and things is fantastic. Yeah. But it's usually more for aggressive guard uses than defensive ones. Yeah. But these, I think, are just there to take hits. But I guess, you know, yes, guard and using it as a hitting fulcrum is still, is still an easy thing to do, isn't it? Now, it looks like Tree wants to, um, I mean, obviously go for the one turn against all this stink without a reroll. Is there a point at which this is just risking an elf for no gain? Yeah, I mean, not no gain. The gain is almost certainly winning the game, isn't it? But um, I, 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 it's, it's very risky, isn't it? <laughs> it's high risk, high reward, I guess. In the natural side to go down is where he's put both the tacklers. Um, so you'd have to try and swap back into the middle, which isn't as easy anyway. I don't know. There's all that stink up on the line, which is where the ball needs to be delivered to. I just think this is very tricky, Jim. It's very tricky, but I like this blitz and then stand here because that takes you out of two, right? So you only got yep. two when you've got edge five. Yeah. So, so this initial right. blitz okay, and yeah. the side step is good. Don't understand the point of that. But. Yeah, so now you pass the ball, probably. No, I guess maybe some, try and power first. But you could pass it now. Like I'd, I'd, <laughs> yeah, maybe just do the pass first. Yeah. Oh, intercept! <laughs> wow. I mean, needing a lot of just, lot of nice dice 
for the Ben to get the six is, uh, is galling always, but uh, it, it was always likely to fail in some way. Yeah, I like just I like just doing that. Then you've got no GFIs or anything with a ball to like get a better roll in it and just just do it and then see what happens and then then you can go for it if you get that first. So, I quite like I quite like going straight. You're always in trouble if you're going into the second half and the Wood Elves can field a full team. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this is a pathetic amount of attrition, really. But he hasn't been able to tee off, has he? That that was what made the blitz like doubly bad because he just never was in the position to tee off at all, was he? He was just oh, always no. scrambling, scrambling to defend against the wizard, then scrambling to score in three turns, and he never. Well, he did have a bit of an opportunity to hit dancers twice, but still didn't have much of an opportunity to like to just tee off on them. Bash needs momentum, doesn't it? If it, if you can't get any momentum with Bash, you're in deep trouble, whereas Elf Ball can recover from a lack of momentum um, very easily. So, yeah, he's he's had a rough time. And if you're struggling to get that momentum back, you're very rarely going to put up the sort of shapes and, and you know, field covers where you have any chance of an early turn fail, which is how you can really get the hitting done. It's yeah. what every batch coach dreams of is having you know six elves based and the first one off fails its dodge. Uh, that's a turn where it's quite likely you can delete an elf, maybe even get two off field. Um, but if you're struggling to get the ball back to get it safe to retain the momentum, you know what hits you leave are going to be hits where they take you down, not where they feel they have to dodge out. Uh, and suddenly it's all about you and what attrition you take. Uh, you're really lucky to move any elf off at all. So yeah, it's it's a. a Brutal position, um, trying to take the ball off a full elf team. Yeah. And from the way they're setting up, it doesn't look like the elf team are particularly in the hurry to um, to come forwards, all the loaders on the line of scrimmage. Oh, he leveled, he leveled with that interception. So yeah, it is the one who scored because he's on eight. So yeah, it's the one who scored. <laughs> Uh, it's the one who scored got the interception. What a badass. Oh, what a game he's having. <laughs> the little rotter that could. In the uh, even more remote than it was at the start, chance that Nelissius goes through to the next round. The rotter will have a skill. Mm. How exciting. Super exciting. Oh, wow. Yeah, it re rolls both ways, so the. Uh, Understaff three rerolls sorted out for both of them. And we've got a glorious Dakar. Sorry, withdrawn offense. <laughs> as long as it communicates meaning, Jim. You, you know I've long voiced my objections to it. It's not the term itself. Is that it seems to bring honor and praise on a man who I do not feel deserves it. But yep. if it communicates meaning, fine. I understand what it means, as do others. I just don't use it myself. Yep. The Italian Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it if that was his name. That would be fine. <laughs> and as I said, I do it myself. There are, and this would be a, it's an edge situation for me. I'd much rather find my way around them a little sooner, a little cleaner. Because the problem is, you know, what do they do with all of that stink? If they put the stink all the way across the field, then that's another way to fail for the breakthrough turn. But also, you get the you get to farm some passes, don't you? Everyone you do, does. which uh, I can hear the jealousy in you, Jim. Yeah, it's great. I couldn't do it against bloody Kislev, but uh, oh. I don't know about you guys, but this is peak blood bowl right now, isn't it? <laughs> nothing excites me more. Nothing gets me hard more than watching a Dakar. <laughs> I particularly love it when the tree is also brought back to protect it from the claw. <laughs> Rather than left midfield as a nuisance, as a nuisance and a worrying point and a rallying point when I break the line, uh, it means there genuinely is nothing to watch at all. Um, <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it not happening. <laughs> the only thing that makes it even better is if that person performing the dagger takes the full two stroke three minutes to do it. I, I think Nelissius, oh, I, I'm not sure I'd have moved those guys at all. I quite like them where they were. And now you just, just end turn there until yeah. they choose to come forwards. Mm -hmm. 
In four turn time, oh. four turns time with four completions on this catcher, we're here and no attrition taken. That's the key thing, isn't it? It just it just saves yeah. your attrition. It's brilliant for for like CCL runs particularly, like more so than Chalice, because obviously like it's still it's still pretty decent for winning games. Obviously not taking attrition, but for for like for CCL runs, it's amazing. They're not taking a chill, not taking attrition aspect. And it's a little controversial here. Perhaps the standard defense we would expect to see from the Nurgle would be the four warriors and the beast in a front line with the uh, pestigors and rotters uh, two or three spaces behind yes uh, oh, in the God. classic walls or indeed i believe lately we've chosen to call them curtains defense. <laughs> you did yes <laughs> um, of course if you have if but, you have a, a front line of a noble warrior and four strength four yeah. then they're pretty beefy curtains aren't they but Nalitia's choosing a slight variation on that, <laughs> of having the, um, the warriors out on the edges to put strength four and then guard just inside of that. Now, Tree does have two guards, um, which, if I'm doing my maths correctly, Jim, means you can put two guards against those two pieces and then from the very edge get a nice easy two die on either of these claws. Yes, I think you have to you have to like have a second line. I think this is crap, a crap defense. So it's the obvious weakness of this defense, but it's also a trap. In that at the moment, it would take Tree at least a turn to move from where she is into that position, and as she does so, Nalicius can try and build an actual proper defense if he chooses. Yeah, he's got plenty of time. He's got plenty of time to try and build a proper defense. <laughs> But yeah, I would, I would like to see yeah, like an old screen, an old screen across the middle. This is weird. interesting, but has weakened to the shape. Okay, so he's he's chosen a much weaker shape than last turn, uh, but more centralised. That's interesting. And oh wow, tree didn't nope. pass. What the hell? He Learned may well be play. in the chat as he's heard that and moved them back. I think that is slightly better, <laughs> but still not as. I mean, I would still have to you know where he's just moved those two. I'd have the inner warriors. And where he's put them, I'd have them behind the outer warriors. Yeah, I, I would, I I would, I would just double lovely. screen it. I would just double screen it. But also, I would have fucking done the passes, Tree. Fuck's sake, what are you, what are you even dackering for if you're not going to skill up this catcher? Come on, man! <laughs> no, it's fair enough, isn't it? It's fair enough in Chalice to not... To not yeah, to falls not in hand. Out. There's just a chance it goes three spaces forwards of one of them. Yeah. Uh, at which point... They, they they could get some Nurgle all round it, so I think you probably don't. Yes, no. It, it, this is obviously the right play, not to do the pass. It's just it's being funny. Yeah, really, really pushing it now. Maybe as you go forward on turn thirteen. Yep, here we I'm go. On, whew, I'm on the edge of my fucking seat here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I would have maybe moved the tree forward last turn, right? Because then this turn you could have moved it in three. That would have been pretty good. I think it was maybe too deep. And then if he goes in, claw palms it, then maybe he pulls himself out of shape. So I would have moved this forward last turn, I think, was the play. Yeah, I'm, I would. I would have maybe he's done. Just move the tree up in his own here. Let's turn. Okay. Holy shit! A player moved. <laughs> Thanks, Moradam. Maybe, maybe he's got everyone up to here, right? Maybe maybe everyone could have come to here last <laughs> turn, so that it, they'd be five away from the warriors. So maybe everyone could have been on this turn last turn. And then the tree in front, and then this turn they could have done something more. Whoa. He's had... He's had so many turns, and now he's going in the well screen, is he? No, not really. No, uh, no, he's doing like chevron. Why not just do elf screen? I don't understand. Do you see twat magnets? Nolly's kind of sus. <laughs> I briefly called AFK then. What did I miss? Loads. <laughs> oh. Just couldn't keep up PC, seriously. Oh, oh, that's a rewind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 
Yeah, we've gone for a weird... Oh my god, this is trash from another city. Yeah, this is awful. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh my god. Uh, the dice respond accordingly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean horrible dice, but it's just weird. Just weird. Just weird. Well, misspelled now. Um, <laughs> lock up the claw palmer, maybe butt through. You know, thank you very much. Yeah. Calcium's had two kids since the last piece of action. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> and you're the dad, McNaughton. <laughs> All right, easy, Steve. <laughs> if that's since the last piece of his action, then yes, that would be very worrying. Um, yeah, there's worse places he could have completely messed up with a terrible idea. I mean, that was exactly the trap tree set. You know, come and have a blitz on something that doesn't matter, though perhaps leaving the, the wrestle guard piece in range was a little feisty. Um, I'd either alter your shape or maybe not get back, and that's exactly what happened. So how does Tree take advantage? Mm, good question. We'll find out in two minutes' time. I can't wait. <laughs> Well, I hope there's loads of things left of the distraction and screen to what's really going to happen over on the right. Because that's where the weakness is. Okay, that is where the blitz comes. It's very exciting, isn't it, Calcium? <laughs> I can, I honestly, it's just... This well, this is leaves just a single two plus. <laughs> oh, now, Jim, you do a lot of this... Uh, Thrilling blood bowl play. Has she uh, judged the distance between the ball carrier and where she's breaking the line correctly? Um, it seems to me she might be a little far back. Well, she's not breaking it, is she? I think she's waited a turn too long. I mean, it's not broken, is it? It's like it would be, you could only go through with the ball, so yeah, just have to move to one side now and feel bad. <laughs> Just a question for you guys. Would it have been better off to have a couple of those warriors more centralised as opposed to lumping two warriors on each flank? Yes. Because <laughs> yeah, they're cool. super slow. There's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't just me then. <laughs> yeah. With four of them, Calcium, you could have had two on the edge where they are. Two just inside the tram lands. Yeah, the yeah. The beast central, as soon as it was there, not moving again to not risk it going stupid. Yeah. And all of your weaker, more flimsy, more stunnable and removable pieces behind that safe, stinky, strong, high AV line. But what do I know? I only coach towards. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> Purple chest, famous dwarf only coach. Yeah, I can hit the ball here. Interesting. Can't really clear out the uh, guards yeah. though, so it's not very good. But. I guess could push him to there, and then he could go four plus three plus, and then come back around. One, two, three. One, two, three, GFI. But then still only one D, isn't it? With some kind dice here, um, Misspelled could be under some pressure. Yeah, yeah, this is actually looking at kind of decent defence now, all of a it's, sudden. Yeah, suddenly there is a, there's an opportunity here for Nolisius for sure. Um, it, it, there's a lot to get done, though. We need to get enough over on this right-hand side as we look to cover that that's where the dancers seem to want to head up. Yeah. But they're tricksy little buggers, and they will swap diagonally through the tree area over to the other side of the field if they can, so we can't weaken the centre. Yeah. <laughs> and though the left is held only by two um, blunders, they're also fast, so we can't completely weaken that, or the side swap you know, with them still having two turns is kind of odd. Yeah. So this shape needs to be really well thought through. Yeah, he has to drop back the tackle, doesn't he? Surely. Yeah, surely yeah. at least one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Surely. Well, it's and yet drop, still keep it. Hard to drop this one back now after he fucking spunked it forward and back and just oh, oh <laughs> man, just to make one hit on a on a wrestle guard, yeah. so not worth it. I mean, I kind of don't mind blitzing that back into action this turn. I, I think just because you. Fucked it up so hugely. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, so much for dropping that claw on my back. Oh jeez. Okay. Yeah, yikes. Well, this looks incredibly thin on the right right now. Oh god, he's stunned for. He's pushing. Wait, wait. Oh, he's got. Okay. He's got uh, the hero thing. beast is coming in to okay. tighten everything up. Okay, that's sort of all right then. Okay. 
Hold on. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I kind of sort of don't hate this now. Hmm. Well. Okay, now I do again. Yeah, yeah. Can I hate it again now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I now hate it more? Yeah. <laughs> that should have been pushed into the tree, so at the very least nothing moved, and then the beast can be repositioned at will. Yeah. And now it can't, which is just so yeah. bad. Yeah. There's a gaping hole here, right where everybody is. <laughs> yeah. Not only did he not reinforce that, which I believe I named as the top of my priorities, Jim, um, yeah. he weakened that area, which yeah. is hilarious. Yeah, if he pushed it there, the beast goes here and ties it all up yeah. perfectly. It yeah, was... yeah. I mean, it's still a two plus to move the beast, but the beast could have genuinely done some great work there. Mm -hmm. And I guess that blitz was to try and still allow that, but now it's still going to have to. He's pulled a one and again, it tackle. fakes it, fails its brain tackle. Mm -hmm. Wow, that beast has been just terrible. Uh, yeah. Not helped by Nolisius, who hasn't been good either. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Jim, I love being. Peter positive, but Tree's coached this fine, and Nelisius has coached this pretty badly. Yeah. And now I think this is a win stay for Tree. Well, not a knockdown there. Oh, uh, yeah, of... that doesn't help. But it's still super easy, barely an inconvenience. Mm, that really did need to be the knockdown, but it yeah, still I mean, it's still, still be. could be fine. Katja can come over to assist if you, if she wants this guy forward, or can just assist okay, with this yeah, guy, no, and then you're, you're right. come it's, through that, easy. Actually, it's all fine, isn't it? You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you probably yeah, just assist fine. with this guy just to make it a bit easier. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the problem, is when Wood Elves are thinking which of the three different Ooh. assists will they use. Ooh. I was going to say, Nelisius really needs a foul appearance right now. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, you just don't, you just don't even care because you've still got you still got one. Yeah, of just going to elf it. So that's too far, isn't it? That's way too far. Oh well, we tried to do things properly. We won't. We'll just elf it. Eh? God, I hate elves so much. Uh, this is going to be a three-point cage, Jim. He's not. She's not side caging. But just just scream like just put the ball there and then put this dancer here and this catcher here. Yeah, and this one around, isn't it? What is this? I think the juggernaut wrestle is coming oh. too. Did a three-two instead of a two? Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> yeah, I think that's cyanide pathing, but that's not great. No. We've there all played we this are. enough to um, know that cyanide pathing sucks, haven't yeah. we? So. Particularly when you're two minutes on the clock, I think that's a little bit of um, Dallas jiggly jiggliness, isn't it, in the tummy? <laughs> Miss Bell's played okay here, not brilliant, yeah. you know, but elves are no, ultra this, giving, this, aren't they? This turn's been bad, Calcium. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But the rest has been absolutely fine. She's played great, but this turn not. Yeah. But then, you know, like I said, that happens all the time. That's fine. Yep. And you move that elf to like here. And it's been good enough. Or there. And then this one can come around here, can't he? Yeah. Uh, and because elves, it's not only going to be good enough, it's going to be absolutely perfect and all fine. And no <laughs> yeah. no problems at all. Yeah. And the Chaos will have to roll 38 decent dice so you can put half an ounce of pressure on it. Yeah. But then their last turn was just terrible. So terrible. I mean, we yeah. can go back and replay that turn and I can... I can Without trying hard, think of 30 different blocking patterns that would be better than the one we ended up with. Yeah, yeah. And a yeah. better defensive position at the end of it. Yeah, I mean, Nazius really did secure defeat from an already bad position. Oh, um, last challenge, he played beautifully beating me. Um, and he is capable of some great play, but that turn, he absolutely shot the play. But yeah. yeah. It was awful. I mean, truly, truly awful. So, shame, because there's been some good play from him in a couple of turns on this. Um, you know, getting the, the touchdown done was good, but that awful blitz choice in the first half still lingers with me with a bad smell. Um, and that turn was just so bad. Yeah. Um, and even when there was a moment that it looked good, it turns out, you know, that wasn't really his plan anyway. <laughs> yeah. The claw might you worry. This is all pretty amazing for the Wood Elves, though, isn't it? Yeah, no attrition. Yeah, how oh, fabulous up. turn for them. No perms, no deaths. Perfect game. Yeah. Yep. I mean, a builder game to some degree, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Might even hand off to this catcher who's on three. <laughs> no, but it's a GFI. If this wasn't a GFI, it would have totally uh, would have, would have really be really tempted to hand off in the end zone. <laughs> yes, it, it would be. It would be a little um, a statement score, but it's surely too risky. Yeah. As you say, it just adds a, a two two pluses. And yes, you've got re-rolls for both, but that's still a one in twenty chance and it just horribly going wrong, isn't it? Yeah. Ish. No, no real Ish. maths were used in that number. Yeah. Ish. Uh, no, last chalice he was something very healthy. You know, the young, they hop around. One minute it's Nurgle and Chalice, the next minute it's a fidget spinner. <laughs> this is the round of 32, uh, the lentil. We'll be making memes on TikTok next Woo! week. Back doing chores. Oh, it makes all that and fails the chip. Oh! Gets the bow! Go on, you beautiful Nurgle bastard. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's not going to change anything in any way, but <laughs> it lovely good. play. It feels good. Yeah. Had to be done. Um, it's the right dice to roll. So, again, another turn where he's found the right dice, the right plan. Yeah. Catch a score is back on. Yeah. Yeah. Tree loving this. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's got an excuse for scoring on the catcher. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That one dancer up blitz with the other and then the catcher pick up and go is the most natural scorer, yeah. That's <laughs> Whoa, probably he's the up right the way to do it, even. He's picked up the ball. I mean, it, it slightly isn't, but... And hence, he feels he needs the ball, so goes, gets it! God, he's had some good uh, dice there, hasn't he? See, this is this is why we're not so good. It was too old, Jim. He was probably two, due two, them two, dice, two, to be fair, two, wasn't he? He was two, probably due those two, dice. Two, four. Yeah. If we were 14, we'd be rolling dice like that. Because <laughs> Three, we'd, we'd two, think they four. wouldn't fail. No, I mean, you've got to do it, right? There's no other, there's yeah. no other place. No, so it was the right dice. And that pickup was right, too. Yeah, and he was due some dice to work. <laughs> it was bastard. just a slightly better lose state if he didn't pick it up. Now, having picked it up, it's still terrible, but ever so slightly less terrible. Yeah. There are now better chances for him to maybe stop this. But still looking like the catcher score. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's still the most likely thing that happens next. <laughs> yeah, bl bl blitz with this mighty blow dancer, in, and then you can get the wrestle follow up hit. Oh my god, you could just dodge with a fucking journey. Why? What's that about? So now you're going to be blitzing that Pestigore into tackle zones, and the ball scatters onto an activated player? It yeah. gives you the wrestle as a secondary, but still two die. Without anything else, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> the positives. Go. Doesn't work. Well, Miss Peltry, you are a bell end. Following up there was not the right thing to do, unfortunately, was it? Um, no, it was not had, the right thing, no. Had she not done that, ball would be right in front of the catcher she wanted to score on, and everything would have been Gucci. Um, <laughs> That was that was that was not the right play and hilariously uh, uh, punished. Unfortunately, I mean even even the man who said who's to say if it's right or wrong said unless it's the final term when you definitely can tell if things are right or wrong. <laughs> um, that was their final turn. I, I can tell you <laughs> that was wrong. It was it was so wrong. Even moving the loner yeah, was yeah. very well, wrong. The road wasn't a great idea, I feel, but it. it you know, you could argue it. That one, you can't argue it. Following up was just wrong. Oh, wow, is he going for the ball? I would have just blitzed the better dancer. <laughs> and not yeah, yeah, yeah. taking the G6 out of there. Yeah. But, Jim, this is not the first time given a chance to hit a dancer. <laughs> We've chosen not to. Yeah, but it is. And look, he's got the runner. He's got the runner. He's got the runner. Scoring oh, wow. Three. Wow. Oh, this would be. Yeah. Okay, that would be beautiful. We all missed the scoring thread, didn't we? <laughs> it's a full-on canoring thread, but there she, there it stands. There Elliot stands, gloriously in range. <laughs> Only a single go for it required if the ball has any ability to get there, which it just doesn't. 
but he can't re-roll that. No. Oh, man. So we go to OT. Wow, so that's what a game this has turned into. Oof. It had a little lull, didn't it, after safe. that first half explosion of awesome treeness and terrible diceness. Mm. Um, and Alicius has tried really hard to completely screw this up. <laughs> um, but Tree, really having played beautifully throughout, just just did some not ideal things. Yeah, shut the bed a little bit, but got the, well, got the ball now in overtime with three I'm a huge to fan. Work, I so. don't want to say she coached that. Do we time, have an overtime Daka? I mean, it was definitely a mistake, wasn't it? Made a couple of big yeah. mistakes, actually. A couple of big mistakes. Yeah. yeah. But overall, better. Whereas no So, I mean, that's the case for both of us. Yeah, Nolly's been pretty... I mean, he's had a couple of good turns, but overall terrible. Um, <laughs> So the question is, who can get their head together for overtime? Because both have reason to be you know, slightly on tilt. <laughs> Alicia just needs to remember how to play Blood Bowl well. Overall. Uh, which, to, to be fair, in a couple of turns, he really has done. Um, but the rest have been pretty shoddy. Exactly, and McLaughlin. Needs to because find you can't that see solidity she had. See an 18, yeah. Sorry, just to, just have to respond to the comment. Yeah, absolutely, dog to the dog. I mean, that's you know. I mean, I'm, I'm only saying. You know, I know people think I'm deliberately cruel at times. I'm genuinely not. I like both these people, but it's our job to call what we see. And you know, coach, she coached beautifully and then didn't. Yeah. And that turn was bad. And Nolicius is capable of much better than this. And the turns have been all right, but the rest have been really shady. Yeah. But I, I try also, to be guilty. I'm not trying to be cruel. I'm really not. You know, if I wanted to be cruel, I could infer things. Or whatever. I'm not. I'm saying what I see. Yeah. And also, to be fair, Nelissius has had a lot more, a lot more. Uh, yeah, he's had the shit dice. Adversity. Yeah, he's had a lot more adversity. He's had a terrible dice blitzed on. It's well, and only he will know how much that created a mental impact, uh, because he certainly warmed up through the game, but. Apart from the, apart apart from the, the gaping hole. Dude, I mean, Jesus, <laughs> this, is the, this is the area that needs the most attention. I'll just vacate this area and not put my beast there. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that was pretty bad. That I mean, he was trying to put the beast there at the very end. Yeah, but after he but, fucked up, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and he had a moment where he could have done it much easier and yeah. chose not to. Yeah, so, which, but, yeah. you know, it could have been a misclick or whatever, you know, who knows, right? Yeah, who knows? He could have spilt hot tea on his crotch at that point in time and, and <laughs> was attending to that. <laughs> you know, who knows? <laughs> to paraphrase Paul Hicks, if the worst thing you do is absolutely fuck up a turn of Blood Bowl <laughs> in the course of your day, it's a pretty good day. Yeah. yeah, too right. It is a game and we shouldn't overvalue it. But they still play helmets at points. Let's be fair. <laughs> you know, we've got to call it as we see it, haven't we? No, three has. <laughs> Two re-rolls. <laughs> <laughs> ten elves, though one of them's a tree. Uh, ten elves and a tree, sorry. Yeah. Uh, and the ball. This is still done, 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 isn't it? Should be. Well, misspelled tree might be like, hang on, hold my pint. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it should be done, shouldn't it? It should be. <laughs> PC famously uh, chose a school one time on a blitz, didn't he? I remember. I did. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, people can make mistakes. It was a quarter final of the chalice where I re rolled two die where I already had a power because I had done the maths wrong in my head for the whole turn and thought it was going to be two reds, but actually I'd had a result that meant it wasn't. It was two in my favour. Yeah, making a mistake in Blood Bowl was no reflection on you as a human being, unless you're Dimmy no, G, no. of course. <laughs> um, but, you know. <laughs> or as a coach, almost... because even the best can yeah. be really boneheaded, stupid players, you know? To some degree, the opposite. I think people that think there is a real. Impact on you, or it says something about you if you make a mistake in Blood Bowl. I, I worry for them. They need more in their lives than that. <laughs> yeah. Don't bully the champ. <laughs> 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 I like how the response. I like how the response to Dimmy said, "Fucking love cars." <laughs> Unless you're Dimmy G. <laughs> I didn't realise Dimmy was a moderator. Oh well, there's another ban for me. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> I mean, you know, I solved the war in the Ukraine today, so I think that's much more important than any game of Blood Bowl. You solved it. 
Yeah, I donated two duvets and uh, no, one duvet and two sleeping bags. Well, I'll do you one better than that, PC. I changed my profile picture on Facebook, so there you go. Yeah, you see, <laughs> having all these people memeing on social media like that's going to end the war. I'm doing practical things, Jim. <laughs> I'm giving them the surprise they need to fight the Russian monster. <laughs> and that's two whole sleeping bags. And it's a double-sized duvet. I didn't mention that, but it is double-sized. Oh, that'll be nice. Oh, dear. <laughs> Very proud of doing my bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Squirrel dude. It's inconceivable imagine, that that won't solve it. Imagine, right. getting, imagine getting to the pearly gates there. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, I can see that you've done all of this and like they talk for like half an hour and then. But uh, when I see CL, you, you're only at forty two percent. So <laughs> down you go. <laughs> turns, turns out you're a shitter. Uh, <laughs> absolute shit. <laughs> Imagine, uh, imagine if it's like you know the nicest person in the world, you know, like Rick or whatever. And then, uh, but I see, I see that you've played thirty-two games with Norse on Blood Bowl Two. <laughs> see you later, mate. <laughs> you've already done your time in hell. Um. <laughs> straight, straight downstairs. <laughs> Help me, in my humble opinion, <laughs> one of the best commentators I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Pretty much, but not. 120. Try 122 for Elliot. Jeebus. This is super hard. I mean, to be fair, Nurgle are one of the teams that have got a little bit of a better chance, haven't they, of defending against yes. uh, elves like being yeah, able stink. to score any time? Because at least you can not take away the pass, but you can limit the pass a tiny amount, but not. Yes, you've got essentially you've got two different uh, sort of shapes you're throwing on the field. There's the shape of your actual pieces and the defence they're throwing and the tackle zones, and then there's the shape of the stink, and where that gives you, you know, extra minuses for, for catches, uh, let alone for throw positions. Uh, and then, I mean, unfortunately, there's only the one tentacles. Often you see Nogle lean into the stymie approach, as it's called, and get several tentacle players. Yeah. Uh, but so there's there's various tools here. It's not unthinkable. It's just really unlikely. It's, it's difficult. It's difficult not to overcommit one way or the other yeah, in well, this position as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing because elves can score any turn. Like if you're trying to defend an elf two turn, you can you can you know you can do that. Or if you're trying to defend an elf eight turn, you can try and make them force goats, force them to score early. But when elves can score any turn they like, it's just an absolute yes. fucking nightmare. Yeah. To defend. yeah, when they don't give a damn if it's turn two or turn eight, that's really tough. You've got to be defending both simultaneously. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Not a bad little removal there, though. A removal! Woohoo! It's the only way to do it, isn't it? Is to keep the stink here ahead of where the ball can be. Uh, try and take out the backfield elf runners. Yeah. Uh, and then, when you can, spare some uh, pressure forwards towards the ball. But, th you know, that has to be a lower priority for a couple of turns whilst you try and get on top of the drive. That removal really does help. Um, even just one up numbers up is, is good morale boosting for Melissians. Turn 18, <laughs> the elves are on 10 players. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Jeebus. <laughs> There's well, multiple I mean, tools in chat also. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. <laughs> I mean, if there really isn't any elf removals at the end of each half, you should just be able to take two of them and just smash them under your foot. <laughs> Could just you know, go for the score here. You could, yeah. I mean, it's she's got the two rerolls. She's got the pieces, so it's doable any time. Oh, what are we doing now? Yeah, oh, that likes, wasn't great. She likes GFIs, doesn't he, Nelissius? Well, again, it's the impetuousness of youth. He changed his mind there. That was a GFI that didn't need to be done if he'd taken the decision as to where it wanted to be before he moved. Um, so a um, wasted GFI there. And they thrown away. Uh, wasn't that a reroll thrown away there? Uh, no, didn't just, re no, he, he didn't reroll. No, he didn't reroll. Okay, fine. No. Could have put the guard in there and. Uh, and then winning the overtime reroll, it is, uh, you know, KT wise. I, 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 three like pushing one. on the right here. Pushing on the right through that claw pommer. Um, yeah. Sacrifice a guard, but you know. Yeah. I mean, it's going to give you a walls of trash. You're going to have loaders in front of you, but that's fine. You'll still get there next turn, won't you? 
Yeah, you want walls of trash, don't you? You want the you want the loners yeah, to take it. Yeah, it does. It actually it. invites the hits on the loners. That's yeah. Mm. It's probably an upside. I don't hate pushing on the left either, but yeah, it's fine. That's the same I hate reason. pushing up the middle through the beast, though, Calcium. I'm with you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to go one side or the other. Either of the other ways is definitely yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> and the advantage of the left is you can theoretically get further away from the beast, which is a, still a notable, very, yeah. very minor concern. Yes. You if you can be seven the spaces away from it, you want to be, don't you? That, that armor break would have been a knife in the heart for Nilicius. Uh They always hurt, don't they? Vanilla armor, nine armor breaks, they always hurt. Yeah. Ought to be a law against them. Yeah. <laughs> you could even, uh, I mean, you could even double base so that you'd have to dodge away and then hit something and just can't get you at all. So maybe you could just double base here with these two loners. They're not going to do a whole lot else. So I, I don't hear that. But then I guess you've got the chain as well, haven't you? Maybe mm, not do that. As Maybe not do are, that. We're creating the width to get out of beast maximum range by handing off to the AG5 with its sure steppy ability. And sure enough, it goes. Oh, so this is risky. Misspelled is relying on a dodge here. To yeah. It's just in, just in range of the beast. Why I, 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 don't we go one more step? No, we don't yeah. have GFI. Out of beast range. One little tiny step. One tiny little step. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Okay, and then as long as we build a double skinned wall so the beast can't get to us, we're fine. I think, I think, I think you could double double base here. That, that now you job. have to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now you've got to. Yeah, just double base here. And okay, the, the, the beast can be chained, but it would take a blitz to chain him, so then he would, would only break tackle yeah. once. So, a yeah, blitz to release him, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, double double there. Double base there. All right, Miss Bell, calm down. Cheeky little foul on an <laughs> already stunned player. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Didn't get sent oh, off, Jim. though. Didn't get sent off, though, so Kelsey would have made that foul. <laughs> oh, Jim, I'm putting, my, I'm putting my dirty great tentacles all over this ball carrier. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Um, yeah, again, not protecting the ball enough, not moving it out of range of the beast, not doubling up the defence, which Purple Chess said. So that's got to be another poor turn. Yeah. It's not great. Yeah. Under very little pressure, I think probably better should have been achieved than that, yeah. Uh, Dr. Oh, the well, that's the square I wanted my tentacles in, but okay. That, that's, <laughs> yeah. fill, it with, fill, it, fill it with an elf. Yeah, foul, foul the two heads one. Yeah, so it didn't foul, didn't foul the warrior foul. No, the it's, the, it, yeah, it was okay. the, it's the super carrier, which is a much better foul. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Even if it's no assists, you know, just any chance to even break the skin on that and stun it would have been really helpful. Yeah. Because if this, um, I mean, there's there's no blitz on the ball, obviously, which is why we didn't see it. But if, if this tentacles gets on the ball, it's it's proper game on. Yeah. It is three two pluses, but I think it needs rerolls if they fail. I think it's the only plan from here that produces a good outcome for the local. Chalice nerves giving us a game, you know, because all this was all very avoidable. And uh, but you know, obviously, chalice nerves get into misspelled at this late stage. Here we go, the double GFI. Gotta go for it. Okay, well, the activation works. And both of the GFIs do. Uh, boom. Howdy. Howdy. Those tentacles are touching up that dancer, and you love to see it. Um, <laughs> two foul appearances. Uh, sorry, disturbing presences. Yep. So two stinks. So that's what four plus for the handoff. Yep. Yep. I still like it, to be honest. Yeah, it's about the best option you've got. Not, right it's now. really not terrible, is it? It's... And then, you can, then you can just two plus away with these two and two D him and then score. Yeah. With a re-roll, it's done a one in four. It's it's kind of fine. Yeah. How, I mean, and the re-roll's inherent, isn't it? That's a catch. No, it's alignment. Okay, so it would need a re-roll. Um, it's such an oddly skilled alignment. That's, some of them are, but it's not bad. Just strange. Surely, surely you just blitz the uh I mean you could also no no you you should just blitz the uh blitz the pest to go hand off score. Easy. Yes, I mean you blitz first because it's safer on the dancer than on the floor. Yes. Um if that fails. Is there an argument for just a straight dodge? 
Is there an argument for a straight dodge from tense here? Not really. What, what's it, it, the handoff must be better odds? I don't know, and I'm not going to hit Samba to find out. Yeah, that's a good. No, idea. dodging from tense is very. It, it's it's a tough set of maths to play with because it, it brings in re rolls and bell curves. Um, it's going to be simpler in the new rules and slightly worse. Though actually, in this case, it would be better. <laughs> because in this case, you would re-roll the tentacles fail, and in Blood Bowl 2020, you can't re-roll the tentacles fail. Yeah. So in this actual specific situation, um, it would be better. Yeah, it's a good point. I don't, right, I don't Carl, actually I... don't know what the role is to get escape tentacles, to be honest. I just literally don't know what it is. Oh, good time. You're Eight right in the... to five. That uh, that position for the beast does make the leap out a little harder, but where the stunned elf is, where I wanted to put the beast, the advantage there is that you try and nail the other war dancer to the floor at the same time. Yeah. Um, so he can't, you know, do the blitz that Jimmy wants to do to free up the edge elf for the ball. In my humble opinion, it does look like we're just trying to try and dodge. We get it on the past the tentacles, straight in with the power, and it wins the game. So it's eight plus. An 8 plus yeah. is harder than a 4 plus, isn't it? So, yeah. So, yeah, the candle would have been better. But then it would have added, you know, two 1 in 36 dodges. Which still makes it better. <laughs> but there you go. Did the 8 plus. But she went from a double skulls on the tentacles to a double 6 on the tentacles, which is. Uh, you love to see it, don't you? Snake eyes re rolled into double, into double sixes. Yeah. <laughs> and Tree wins the game. I feel deservedly, but oof, a roller coaster, both of coaching and of indeed the blood bowl. Yes, I mean I had had by far the better dice, but uh, you know probably played better as well. Yes, I think that's a fair to say. Yeah, yeah. Snake the first ten, so it was the right play. Yeah, would have snake to dodge for to to try and do things, but I mean, you know, you can't judge it by the way the dice went, can you? Hello, Skuro. Um, just in time for the end of the match. It was very much a roller coaster. Yeah, cra crazy game. Uh, lots of highs and lows. Thank you very much, Purple Chest and Calcium. Lovely to have you on. Pleasure. Lovely to be free. I thought I wasn't going to be. Uh it's Always like a pleasure it's sharing the booth with you legends. Much love. I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers. Well, you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, c commiserations, Nelisius. Congratulations, Miss Beltree. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>